Hey guys, it's Mrs. Cost. Today is Earth Day. So Earth Day is something that everybody can take a chance to go out and clean up the trash around their yards um, and their neighborhoods in the streets or they could take some clothes to um, a Goodwill if that's open. Um, there's actually a lot of things you can do, but one of the things you can do easily every day to help the earth is recycle. So today we're going to read a book about recycling. It's by Nancy Elizabeth Wallace, and she also made the pictures for this book. Outside, it was raining. Inside, Minna was sitting on a chair singing, recycle, recycle, recycle. Why are you singing recycle, Minna? asked mom. The children at school have been asked to make posters about recycling. The ones that get picked will be in the community recycling calendar. I'm trying to think of a really different idea for my poster. What does recycle mean? asked Pip. Is it like a bicycle? Minna giggled. Recycling is when you reuse or fix things instead of throwing them away. Did you know we recycle all the time? asked dad. We can help with your ideas. On Monday, they looked through their closets and dressers. I haven't worn this in years, said Mom. I really grew, said Minna. Look, Minna, I grew too, said Pip. This never fit, said Dad. They bundled up their clothes and brought them to... The Community Clothing Bank. Passing along clothes in good condition to others is a form of recycling, said Mom. That would make a terrific poster. I'm still thinking, said Minna. On Tuesday, Minna and Dad cleaned up the yard. They put all the leaves and grass and weeds into... The compost maker. This will turn into nice rich soil for our garden, said Dad. And what a super idea for your poster. I'm still thinking, said Minna. On Wednesday, Minna, Pip and Mom gathered their empty cans. They brought them to the return machines at the recycle center. Scrunch, thing, scrunch, thing. What's happening inside that machine, Minna? Pip asked. The machine is squishing the cans. Then they will be made into new cans, she explained. Pip danced. Look, Minna, I'm doing the can can. This can machine is a good idea for your poster, Minna. I'm still thinking, said Minna. On Thursday, Minna and Mom got their tote bags. They walked to the grocery store. In the cereal aisle, Minna pointed. There's a recycling symbol. These boxes were made from recycled paper. That means trees were saved. That's why we, bring, we use tote bags too, said Mom. Is our trip to the grocery store giving you any ideas for your poster, Minna? I'm still thinking, she answered. On Friday, Minna and Pip looked through their books. When I was a tiny baby, I liked this one, said Pip. The magic carrot patch, said Minna. That used to be my favorite. I must have read it a million times. Minna and Pip piled up seven books. They took them to... Books for everybody. Thank you, said Mrs. Libro. We'll give your gently used books to children who might not have any. Everybody needs a book. Look, Minna, posters, said Pip. Are you still thinking? Minna nodded. On Saturday, they had supper. When they finished, Minna helped. Wrap up the leftovers. To reduce waste, use plastic containers instead of plastic wrap, said Dad. Will that idea work for your poster? I'm almost done thinking, said Minna. On Sunday, Mom asked, Isn't the art for the poster contest due tomorrow? Minna nodded. She began to sing, Recycle on Monday, recycle on Tuesday, recycle on Wednesday. Suddenly, Minna knew what she need wanted to do. Minna gathered scissors, a glue stick, markers, and her pink polka dot pencil. She got out her box of used envelopes, old folders, and scraps of found paper. Then she started to work. So she's recycling objects to make her poster. The next day, Minna brought her poster to school. 
please, please, please pick mine, she whispered to herself. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday went by. Finally, it was the day when the children would find out whose posters had been chosen for the calendar. Mr. Turner, the first selectman, spoke, to the, spoke at the school assembly. If everyone does their part, together we can make the world a cleaner, greener place. And now, I have the pleasure of announcing the names of the artists whose posters have been chosen. January, Emily, ring, ring, ring. Hello, don't forget to recycle your phone book. February, Kyle, put empty containers in the recycling bin. March, Carrie, reuse plastic bottles. April, Lexi, give toys you don't play with anymore to others. May, Tyrone, buy big, a big container equals less dumping in the dump. June, Timothy, important news, recycle newspapers. July, Lindsay, use scratch paper message pad. Step one, cut paper into squares. Step two, staple. Step three, draw a picture. August, Aaron, reuse wrapping paper. It's a gift to our world. September, Lauren, lunch bag, paper, no, fabric, yes. October, Dave, your old glasses can help someone else see. November, Miguel, did you know that 1,050 milk drums might be recycled into a park bench? And for December, Minna whispered to herself, please, please, please. Vanessa, said Mr. Turner, Vanessa's poster shows us how to make a bird feeder by recycling plastic milk containers. What a wonderful December holiday gift it would make. An old milk container is for the birds. Minna's upset. This will be our best recycling calendar ever, Mr. Turner said. I want to close today with... Our cover artist, Minna. She even used recycled paper. Minna's poster tells us to re-remember Re-recycle every day. Say it with me. Re-remember. Re-recycle every day. Everybody, re-remember. Re-recycle every day. Here's her poster. That's the end. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Go do something good for Earth Day. Bye.